Hi, everyone. Anthony Morganti here. Very quickly at the top, I want to apologize for my lack of videos lately. I usually do five or six videos a week, and over the past several weeks, I've only been doing two or three. Furthermore, I realize that when I am doing videos, I'm doing videos on Lightroom. Uh, the reason for that is of all the applications that I do videos on, I know Lightroom the best. I've used it the longest. So it's easy for me to think up video ideas for Lightroom. Now, Moving forward, I hope to have time to do more videos, and I'll definitely be doing videos on applications other than Lightroom and videos on photography in general. Now, with that said, today we're going to do a video on Lightroom. You know, Lightroom's workspace is kind of static. You can't do a lot with it. Over the years, they have improved it slightly, but it's still nowhere near, say, Capture One. With Capture One, you could really customize the workspace uh, to your liking. But there are some things you could do in Lightroom. And in today's video, let's talk about those things. Now, first of all, when you're in any module, most of the modules, at least I'm in the develop module. Now, you know, you have four panels, top, bottom, left, and right. You can close those down. There's these little triangles. Just click on a triangle to close it down. You could reopen it by clicking on that triangle. Also, if you have it closed, you could just kind of hover over that triangle or hover over that panel, in this case, the top panel, and it will temporarily reopen. And then you could come off to close it. Now, there is a bug with at least Max, maybe this is on PCs too, um, with the left panel in the develop module. Uh, the bug is, if you have the left panel closed and you go and hover over there, it won't temporarily reopen. Now, I have reported that bug to Adobe, but they haven't, they've acknowledged it, but they haven't done anything to fix it yet. Now, of course, on the right panel, if you just hover, it will open. So that's the way it should work. Also, you could use function keys. That's what I prefer to use. Uh, the F5 key will close down that top panel. Tap it again to reopen it. F6 key is, F6 key is for the film strip. Uh, the F7 key is for the left panel. And the F8 key is for the right panel. So I prefer to use the function keys. Now, speaking of that right panel, you can do some stuff over there as well. Now, the way I like my tabs to work is if I say have the basic tab open, I leave it open, I'll go down and open Tone Curve, it will automatically close the Basic tab. By default, Lightroom doesn't do that. By default, if you open a tab, then open a second tab, it will have two tabs open. Open a third tab, it open three tabs. Um, I prefer to have it look and work this way. This is called Solo Mode. To get into Solo Mode, just right-click on any of the tabs, and you'll see right here Solo Mode. Now, I'll turn it off temporarily, and by default, this is the way Lightroom works is you'll have all these open. Some people prefer this. They like to have them all open and just kind of scroll around. Personally, I don't. I think that might be because I learned how to use Lightroom on a laptop, and it was like a lot of scrolling all the time. So I prefer solo mode. So just right-click on any of the tabs and put a check mark next to solo mode. You also have the option to expand all if you want to, or right-click and collapse all. Now, you may have noticed, let me right-click on that again. There is this option here, Customize Develop Panel. With this here, you could uh, remove something totally. Let's say you never use calibration. Just uncheck that box. Let's say that you want lens corrections further up towards the top. So just grab where these three lines are and just drag it up there. Let's say I'll put it right after tone curve. And let's say you're color grading. You don't do that that often. So you're going to pull that down towards the bottom. All right. So I rearranged this. I got rid of the calibration tab. Just click save. When you do that, you're going to have to relaunch Lightroom. So we'll relaunch Lightroom. It will close Lightroom down and reopen. And when it reopens, you'll notice that the um, calibration tab won't be there anymore. And the, as you can see, and I moved lens corrections up and I moved color grading down. Now, if you want to put it back the way it was, just right click again and go back to customize develop panel, then go to default order. And then you're going to have to check the boxes of the ones you unchecked. So do that. So I put them back in the order they were. I check calibration again, click save. And again, you're going to have to relaunch Lightroom and then it will come back. So this is good if you're not using something constantly and you could just, you know, free up some space over there and make it less cluttered and get rid of it. You may never use, let's say, transform. Just get rid of it if you're not using it. Now on the left panel, you could do similar things, but some things that operate a little different. For instance, solo mode is over here as well. If you right click, you could see solo mode. Here, so same thing, if I have, let's say, history open, and then I open snapshots, it will close down history, open up snapshots, open up presets. Can't see it, but it closed down snapshots. And 
opened up presets and so on. So you could do that there as well. Here, there isn't a separate dialog box to customize the panel. So what you do here is you just right click and let's say you never use snapshots. And you want to get rid of it. Just click on this to remove the check mark and now it's gone. So you could go back and click on it again to bring it back. Now you do not have the option to reorder anything here like you do the right panel in the develop module. You just could get rid of a tab altogether or bring it back and you also could expand or collapse the tabs there as well. Now what if you want to flip-flop the left to the right, the right to the left? You actually can do that, and this is relatively new. They added this to Lightroom relatively recently, but you have to go to Lightroom Preferences for that. Under a Mac, it's under the Lightroom Classic menu. On a PC, it's under the Edit menu. Once you go to Preferences, you're going to have to go to the um, Interface tab, which is this one right here, and then you can see Swap Only Develop Left and Right Panels. So this will only be in the develop module. They'll be swapped. So they won't be swapped in any other module. Or you could swap left and right panel groups. So this will be in every module. So you could do it in every module or just the develop module. So let's just do it the develop module. Now, unfortunately, when I close this down, you'll notice nothing happened. That's because you're going to have to close Lightroom down and then reopen it. And then what you'll see is that they're swapped. Once it reopens, if it reopens, and you'll see now that the, um, the panel that was on the right is now on the left. If you're coming over from Capture One, by default, Capture One's like editing panels on the left, you might prefer it over here. Or if you're left-handed, a lot of times people are left-handed, prefer it over here. Um, either way, you could do it now. You weren't able to do that before. Now I'm going to set it back the way it was because I just looks looks wrong to me it just looks dirty anyway it's just something when you're used to using something for so many years like i am have been using lightroom forever it seems i'm just used to it being a certain way and i don't want to see it any other way now all these little tricks i showed you most of those will apply to um any panel i didn't open it though will apply to any um any module you're in, meaning uh, I was showing you these tricks from the develop module. If you go over to library module here as well, you could right click, let's say on the stuff over here on the right hand panel, and you could see their solo mode. You could get rid of comments. Let's say you never use those. You could get rid of it there, bring it back. Just put the check mark next to it. You could show all, you could collapse all, you could do all that over there. Same thing over in the left panel, just right click. You could see there's the check marks to remove something. Let's say you never use published services, just remove that check mark and it's gone. Click on it again to bring it back. We have solo mode over here. You can see I don't use solo mode on the left panel. I usually don't like it on the left panel, so I should um, I don't use it here. I, I should say the solo mode on the library module. And um, I could bring back published services. So you could do it here. And like I said, it, it's available on most of the uh, different the different panels, like we're in the map module now, I could right click over here. You could see there's solo mode. You only have two things here though, save locations and collections. Uh, right panel I have closed down. See the metadata there, stuff like that. So you could do it from panel to panel. There's always these things. Just remember to right click on something to bring it up and you'll be able to, um, you know, do a lot just by looking at what the, what the contextual manual uh, menu is called the contextual menu what it shows, and you'll be able to uh, change uh, whatever you want to change, I guess, through that menu. That's it. That's really the limited customiz customization options one has in Lightroom Classic. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.